Hello guys, today I want to explain to you uh, one of the techniques that is currently being used by a lot of threat actors. This technique is uh, called the DLL side loading. So um, this technique is actually pretty simple to implement, but the detection is kind of difficult, so that's why this uh, attackers are, are using it right now and um, well so to understand a little bit this technique so we just need to uh, understand the logic behind the process of loading DLLs for a specific process so basically one, every time a uh, binary in Windows wants to load a DLL so there, there is a specific uh, order in which Windows is going to look uh, for that DLL okay so that may basically means that uh, sometimes threat actors can uh, replace the DLLs required for the software and instead of the actual DLL, they are going to use a malicious DLL. So that's why uh, once you execute the, the original sample, the original uh, file executable that's not malicious, it will load in memory a malicious DLL and execute the malicious code. Okay, so that's basically this, uh, this explanation here, as you see. A lot of threat actors are currently using this uh, specific um, technique, so it's important to understand how it works. The idea of this small video is to show you how it actually works. So I'm going to uh, open here my virtual machine. In my virtual machine, I have a two different attacks both attack, attacks are implementing the the same strategy which is the DLL side loading but they are using different binaries so I told you one of the main characteristics of this attack is that the uh, executable that it that is used to to load the malicious code is actually a trusted binary so in this case we have a Bitdefender uh, product, so this is a Bitdefender 2019 and is a, a trusted application. You can uh, see here the, the, the signature, get all the details of these uh, signatures, so this is a, a trusted binary. So that's one of the reasons why um, thread actors are, are constantly using or abusing this kind of um, binary. So you see there is a certificate, like everything uh, belongs to the defender because this is the actual binary. So this is, this is not malicious. If we go here to the other case, we will see digital signatures. It will, uh, this is a Kinsoft internet security product so we can go to the signatures do the same thing and we will see that it also this executable has a certificate so it seems to be something not malicious and in fact that executable is not malicious see that there is a certificate it is and uh, the, the, the signer is B, Beijing King of security software so this is not malicious uh, this is important Okay, so, however, when these two um, executables run, they are actually going to uh, load this DLL and this DLL. So, before doing that, and before I, I show you that process, I want you to, to see the DLL order, uh, the DLL order hijacking that that is being down here so we are going to uh, we are going to execute the both executables without the, the malicious code 
and we are going to uh, see which are the DLLs, which is the order and in which locations these two binaries are going to, to try to load a DLL. So to do that, it's super simple. So we're going to open Process Monitor. Process Monitor uh, is going to um, monitor document all the different actions that these uh, executables are going to perform and with that we can notice which are the DLLs so let's go first uh, I want to filter so I go here to filter clicking filter filter and here we go to process name we're going to start with wps.exe so we're going to add it and click ok so this is just going to filter all the actions so we are interested only on the operations that this process is going to, to perform so I double click mm -hmm and now I can see all the operations now what I what I want you to see is the DLL the DLLs that are be that this executable is trying to load so first let's start from the beginning so tries to load this one result success uh, here here we have two DLLs success also this success 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 for example success success so that's good but if we scroll down for a little bit we are going to see that uh, there is a specific DLL that is not found so that's interesting and see here the order so First, remember we are running this sample in the desktop. Uh, so the first place in which this DLL is searched is in desktop. He didn't find it. Okay, perfect. So he moves to system 32. Didn't find it. So to system didn't find it. So uh, now it goes to Windows. Okay, then it goes back to desktop. System32, Windows, System32, WBEM, PowerShell. So it tries a lot of a lot of different locations just to detect this DLL. And that's basically the, the idea here behind the, the, the whole uh, attack chain. So thread actors are going to use one of these different paths that is required for the software to load the, the DLL. So they are going just to add that DLL and that DLL is the one that is malicious. So once that happened, the trusted binary is executing malicious code. That's it. We can do the same thing with uh, UASL private and we will, have, we will find a similar result. So that's uh, the first uh, step. Now, if you actually want to debug uh, this kind of uh, code the easiest way to do it so first let's open here PS Studio just to understand uh, what's the nature of the file it's a 64-bit uh, file it's a DLL so it's good so that means we need to open this with the x64 debugger so that's good uh, now we go before doing anything we go to preferences and we go to DLL entry that's because we are interested on the DLL entry points and we don't want to waste our time on the executable because we know it's trusted so once we have done that here so just click play uh, and see that here at the top you see that it says current module wps.exe so that means we are currently in the uh, code of the um, exe, the executable, which is not malicious, so I don't care. So 
hit run again until we are in the malicious DLL. So now I am in the malicious DLL, I can uh, hit or click in options, preferences, and disable the DLL entry point one more time. And this from now on is the malicious code. Uh, in this case, this is plug X. So to actually uh, extract the malicious content, so I know you just need to follow the virtual protect um, API. And here, this is the place in which the uh, shell code is going to be run. So I hit play, yeah, now we are in the malicious code. This is where the, uh, the shell code logic is injected just for the, uh, just to, to, to explain a little bit of this process, the shell code is basically the content of this file, the WPS dot that file. So now we are in the shell code, so we're executing that file. Uh, now, and this is, by the most simple uh, part. So we want to uh, extract actually the, um, the malicious binary, which is plug X. So for that, I'm going to set a breakpoint a little bit after this decryption routine, execute. And then here I need to see, uh, I want to start a tracking the API. So here, for example, there is a virtual alloc. So let's uh, move until that virtual alloc to see uh, what is allocating. So in this case, we have a new memory section here. So we continue. Let's move until, until the next one, the next uh, movement here, the next call. <laughs> is another virtual lock so I want to go until here so I'm going until that part Let's look at here we have a very interesting MC header so this is curious uh, but so we are going to allocate memory here we have the second memory dump perfect now we have here a RT, a, a RTL decompressed buffer. That means probably this thing is going to uh, decompress the the contents. So this could be the compressed the compressed binary. So let's see what what happens once it is decompressed. Look at we have here the whole binary. So I can just a right click following memory map and now dump that section to a file we have that into a file and finally this is the binary if we open that binary in ida that's the binary that we are interested in. that's the famous plug x trojan that it's been loaded by this um, by this uh, DLL side loading technique okay so just in case this is the binary and we can uh, get the strings really quick just to validate look these are the the strings just to validate that this is the actual um, payload so I'm going to look for that those strings here just in case to see if we found something but yes that is the famous um, plug X so that's kind of the analysis here uh, Remember, this is using the DLL silo. So, thank you guys. Hope you hope, hope this uh, video is useful for you. Uh,